Hi, I'm Peter Hart. Welcome back to FAIR TV. The problems with the Affordable Care Act are much bigger than a bum website. Media reports are picking up on a new theme. People who have insurance are losing their insurance. An NBC report that got a lot of attention explained that some are now experiencing sticker shock, forced to pay significantly more for their health insurance. Now, it should be said that this problem applies to the small segment of the population that buys individual insurance. And these are the kinds of policies, long before Obamacare, that were frequently discontinued. But those details were lost in much of the coverage. Fox host Bill O'Reilly flagged a Kaiser Health News Service article about the cancellations to show that the health care law is busted. But the very same article also pointed out that those seeing their policies canceled were likely to get new, more comprehensive policies at a similar price. There was another example, a California woman named De Deborah Calavaro, who has been featured on several reports. She's apparently lo losing a policy with a monthly premium of under $300, and is being told she can buy a new policy for $478 a month. Now that's where many of the news accounts leave it. But LA Times reporter Michael Hiltzik tracked her down, got the pertinent information, and showed how she could purchase a, in many ways, better plan on the California exchange for roughly the same price as she was paying before. As Hiltzik put it, the shoddy reporting on her case is failing her, and it's failing the rest of us too. 60 Minutes is a show that is known for hard-hitting interviews, or at least maybe it was known for that at one time. If you watched the October 27th broadcast, you saw something else. Mike Morell, who recently retired from the CIA, gave his first ever TV interview. He was at the agency from the 9-11 attacks, through scandals over torture and the Iraq WMD intelligence, all the way up to the use of drones. So there's plenty to talk about with him, but listen to how correspondent John Miller introduced the interview. Mike Morell was deputy director of the CIA and gave us the only television interview he's ever done. He spoke to us largely because he believes the very nature of the spy business keeps successes in the shadows, but often pushes failure into the bright lights. So Morell wanted to talk about the good news at the CIA, and that's what CBS more or less let him do. Morell said NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden betrayed his country. Miller, the journalist, concurred. Morell admitted that torture is bad, but then moved on to discussing the precision of the drone war. Morell said he wished the Iraq WMD intelligence had been scrubbed more thoroughly, but they said not to worry, that's the kind of thing that's never going to happen again. On almost every issue, one could imagine some tough follow-up questions. Well, imagine them, sure, because they were never asked. Why not? Well, maybe it's the fact that just a few years ago, Miller had a very different job. He worked in media relations for the FBI. So perhaps Morell went to CBS and 60 Minutes because he knew exactly what he was going to get from Miller, a story that looked like CIA PR. And finally, journalists complain all the time about the important, compelling stories they would do if they only had the time. So it's interesting to consider just what they do have time for. NBC News, for example, has time for a primetime special called Why We Heart Vampires. It'll be hosted by MSNBC News anchor Tamron Hall and will consist, we're told, of a collection of fun, comedic interviews accompanied by entertaining clips from our favorite vampire moments. NBC is doing this because they have a new series, Dracula, that they want to promote. They're not the only ones, though. ABC World News took time during its October 28th newscast to tell viewers about an exciting new cable channel, one that, wouldn't you know it, just so happens to be co-owned by ABC. The channel, called Fusion, is supposed to be directed at millennials with a particular focus on the Latino community. Here's how reporter David Muir described this new venture. But they're hoping to make us laugh, too. Doing for news what Modern Family has done for entertainment, reflecting all of America's next generation. So ABC, on its newscast, is promoting its new cable channel by referencing its hit sitcom. This is all, apparently, news. I'm Peter Hart. Thanks for tuning in to FAIR TV.